not too bad. Confirm now you bought them. If you have, I got three. I got two in my basket. You don't tell me now, though. Come on! Yeah. Come on! <laughs> I told you to keep trying. Keep the session on computer. Dude, it can win in ten seconds. Literally, I refreshed the site at twelve when my alarm went off. Gone. Just for clarification, myself, Sam, and Callan, and I think we got five tickets total. I got two. They got three. So yeah. That would make it five tickets. We've got five tickets to see Dimension at Printworks London in December. It sold out so fast, but we managed to get tickets, and that was that was what we were buzzing about. There's no relevance to this video whatsoever. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, I'm going to be going through some of your Instagram questions. LSJ underscore fitness. I put a poll up not so long ago, and we've got a few come in already. Some good titles, so it's worthy of an entire vlog. I meant to do this in the middle of the month, but I've been that busy doing media work and I just had other videos that I had to do and wanted to do. And here we are. But it's gonna be a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. Enjoy the video, people. Watch that. Question numero uno, do you ever worry about your caffeine intake and how it might affect you? Yeah, it's not even really much of an issue to be honest. I mean, I don't even consume that much. Now on a serious note, I, I really don't consume that much. Contrary to popular belief and what you may or may not see on social media, um, I am very sensible with my caffeine intake. I don't drink tea, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink coke, I don't have anything you get what I mean? I hardly have anything other than water and clear way isolate, right? So the only forms of caffeine that I ever get are from pre-workout or an energy drink. I like to have an energy drink most days. I don't have one every day, but I do show you guys every single one that I do have, right? So it seems, because it's constantly in your memory, it seems like I'm having a lot, right? Then a lot of the time I'm showing the same one on Instagram and YouTube at the same time. So you see it in two places rather than one. So it seems like I'm having even more. And then I have some pre-workout in the same video, but that's actually in the next day and it just gets confusing, right? But no, I, to be honest, I don't worry. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm really honest with myself, I know people that have 10, 12 coffees a day, I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm okay to, to have a, an energy drink every now and then and dome some pre. I do genuinely really appreciate the, um, the concern though. I know that's coming from a good place. I hope it is anyway. Um, and it's good to hear from you, Kieran. I hope you're well. Next question. If you're wondering why I'm topless, by the way, it's freaking boiling. I'm filming this on Tuesday the 30th, and if you live in the UK, um, it's free and boiling today. It's like 19 degrees, which is mad, really. It kind of come out of nowhere, but anyway. Next question. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? What is the best equipment at the gym for targeting weight loss? Thanks. No need to thank me, my friend, because the answer is dead simple. There is no one piece of equipment that is perfect. The best thing for you is a calorie deficit. If you're looking to lose weight, looking to lose body fat, in a nutshell, all you need is a calorie deficit. In other words, to be burning more calories than you are consuming. It's what's known in the biz as a negative energy balance, right? So negative because you are burning more than you are consuming. So it kind of going down. If you were consuming more than you were burning, it would be positive, you know? Science. Contrary, again, to popular belief, um, there is not one piece of equipment, one exercise, one workout plan that will be the ultimate fat burning, fat loss, muscle gain thing. You just have to do it. But bear in mind that if you want to be in a deficit, you can either do that through cardio, so you can use a cardio machine, or you can do that through weight training if that's how you're gonna find it difficult to burn enough calories doing that to be fair. You can either eat less, i.e. consume less, or you can burn more, i.e. expend more, right? It's all about your intake versus your expenditure. If you are negative, you are gonna go down in weight. If you are positive, you're gonna go up. That's it, simply. I feel like I've made that really complicated. There is no one piece of equipment, just a deficit is all you need. Speaking of a deficit, this next question gives me the video title. question is, ladies and gents, do I have an end goal for the diet? Oh, by the way, 
Here is our bedroom. We are still sleeping on a mattress on the floor. We've been here two months. Two freaking months and no bed. But it is what it is. We have a mattress and we have a home. A roof over our heads and a really nice flat. I have, we absolutely love it here, but a bed would would be nice, you know. You can start decorating this room that way and just make it a bit more, well, like a bedroom rather than just a room with a mattress, you know. Anyway, the question was, do I have a goal? End goal weight for the diet. The answer is yes. And the answer is also a big fat no. Now bear with me. T-shirt. And we can whip out some shorts. There we go. It's actually like really, really, really warm. So, for a quick session today, we're going with Velocity and a pair of shorts because I can't find my Velocity shorts. They must be in the wash. Never mind. Anyway, the question, for goodness sake. The question is, do I have an end goal weight? Yes and no. Yes, because I want to hit 159 pounds. The end of summer shredding, which I'm going to be doing, by the way, stay tuned for that. The end of summer shredding last year was 159 pounds. If I can get there, I will be there with a good few more pounds of muscle mass, right? Meaning my body composition at that body weight will be better. It's as simple as that, right? So I would like to hit that weight. However, I do feel like, well, I know that I've put a good few pounds worth of muscle on over this book. We've been booking for quite some time now, right? So we could be at the same, or at least a very similar body composition in the mid 160s, right? And we're approaching 170 right now. So we're only a few pounds away. It's only going to come off the love handles in the face straight away, right? So I say yes, because I want to hit that number out of kind of principle, because that's where I was last year. And so I see that as beating it and bringing the best physique and all of that crap, right? But in reality, that's not really the best way to look at it is how I'm going to be looking at it because that's just a number in my head that I would like to have and beat and look better than what I did last year. Um, but if I get to the mid 160s or low 160s and I feel like I'm starting to take it a bit too far because I'm not getting competition shredded, right? There's a difference between getting lean for summer and getting competition shredded. There's a big difference. In fact, quite a substantial difference in terms of the approach that you would have to take and let's not beat around the bush the amount of dedication it would take to get to that level you know we're not doing that we are just doing the regular joe summer shredding getting a bit leaner looking a little bit better feeling a little bit better cut right same as we do every single year the sustainable diet so if the low 160s rolls around and i feel like that's enough because bear in mind i'm gonna have a trim i'm probably gonna have a bit more of a tan all of a sudden even at this body weight i'll look a hell of a lot better if i'm just neat you know i haven't shaved when my old man did my hair a couple weeks back it literally shaved 10 pounds off my face because this bit of my hair is just so massive. Like my finger disappears into my hair. It adds like an inch onto both sides and my face just comes in straight away, right? Because we're only about 170 pounds now. So yes and no, I have a weight in mind, but take it with a pinch of salt. You know, we will see how we go because it's going to be the most interesting summer shredding experience that I have ever personally had, right? Because I'm in the best starting point. I've got the most knowledge that I've ever had. I'm now in a position with social media to consider what I am doing my job. It is, well, it is my job. It's how I make all of my money. I'll do a whole separate video on that, right? So I'll say it again, and if you're still with me, I appreciate the support, yes and no. 159 is the number I have in my head, pounds, that is. I don't know what it is in kilos or stones, but that's where we were this time last year. Not this time, the end of the cut last year. But if we don't get there because we don't feel like it's necessary, that's not the end of the world. But that's the number I have in my head. I could have done that in 30 seconds. I hope that answers your question. It's a little bit late on in the day for this. However, I don't give a damn. Chin, 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 LSJ at checkout. This is in the same day. Pre-workout, energy drink. Get off my back, okay? That was a joke, that was a joke. I love you, I love you. Okay, we've got time for one more final question from my boy, Callum. 
see you in the comments, my friend. See if anyone can beat Callum. This Callum that is answering, that is asking this question is always, or nearly always, pretty much always first comment. So go and check out the comment section if you have not already. I really appreciate all of the early comments, by the way, because one, it really helps like algorithm wise. And two, it just shows that you guys are legitimately enjoying what I'm spending hours of my, <laughs> my time on, you know, and you care enough to actually go out of your way to do that. So I, I genuinely really appreciate it. But anyway, Callum's question is, what will you be releasing? Oh no, hang on, that's not the question. I was gonna say, what will you be releasing? I think it's, will you ever release other stuff on the website, thinking of a title here? See, Callum's got my back, you know? Yes, is the simple answer to that. There will be things on the site in the very near future. lsjfitness.com is actually my website. I will put more media content on there in the very near future to kind of advertise that side of the business, but I need the proper landing page and all that kind of stuff, so it takes time. There will also be the summer shredding plan in the very near future. Hopefully, in the next seven days, I can finalize that, get it up and ready to go before you guys go back to the gym that can be your plan to get you through the first few weeks or few months or year of going back to the gym that along with some merch as it gets called in the biz hopefully in the very near future as well tons of stuff but i have to kind of hold my cards close to my chest at times you know but there will be plenty of stuff coming to the site in the very near future thank you all so much for watching today guys i'm gonna round the video off here sorry i couldn't get to all of your questions we actually had a lot of them because I put two boxes up so sorry I couldn't get through them all. Today I just wound up answering about three questions for about 19 minutes each so I apologise to, to everyone, I'll try and get to you next time and I'll do another one of these in about two weeks time because this was meant to be the one from March, it's now April so I'll do one in the middle of April. Yeah, I like to do one a month. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're still watching right now and you have not already, drop a like, because we clearly get on, you and I. Let's see if we can smash 75 likes on this video. That would be sick. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. I'll see you all.